If you need to send the same letter to multiple people, the Mail Merge function in Microsoft Word can save you a lot of time. The first thing you need to do is compose and format your letter. I've got a draft already prepared. Any field that you want the Mail Merge to fill in, like the person's name or address, type in a placeholder in all caps. So, for example, I want the person's first name after the salutation, so I'll type the word first, all uppercase. You can see I've already added some of the other placeholders up above. Once you have your letter built, you need to assign the placeholders you created as fields within the Mail Merge function. So first thing is you're going to go up to the Mailings tab in the top navigation. Then click on Select Recipients. You'll see we have three different options here. If you already have a mailing list, you can choose an existing list or you can select recipients from your Outlook contacts. But I need to build my mailing list, so I'll choose Type New List. In the dialog box that opens, the first thing you need to do is customize the columns so they sync up with the placeholders you created. The names don't need to match, but these fields will eventually replace your placeholders, and you need to know what goes with what. So click down here on the button to Customize Columns. You'll see Microsoft Word is giving you a lot of preset options. I don't need all of them for the letter that I created, so I'll delete the ones that are unnecessary. You can also add or rename fields if you need to, using the options here on the right. A couple of things to note. You can't have two fields with the same name, and you can't use certain punctuation, like periods, exclamation marks, or square brackets, when you name a field. You can use spaces, but the field name cannot start with a space. Once you've made all your changes, click OK at the bottom to close the dialog box. You can see back here in our new address list that the column names reflect the changes that we just made. So now it's time to add some recipients. Just type the information into each field and click the Tab key to move to the next field. Eventually you're going to create a whole mailing list, but for now I'm just going to illustrate how the mail merge works with just two sets of names the world's shortest mailing list. So when all your fields are complete, click OK. Another dialog box will open that prompts you to save the address list that you just created. This is a wonderful thing since we don't want to have to retype all those names each time. Now we're going to go back to our letter and insert the mail merge fields into the document where our placeholders are. Just highlight one of the fields. And back up in the Mailing section in the top navigation, we're going to go to the group labeled Write and Insert Fields and open the drop-down for Insert Merged Field. Then select the appropriate field to replace your placeholder. And when you're done, you're ready to merge. I'm going to save my document to make sure I don't lose any of the formatting I just did. I'll just go up to the Quick Save button. Then back up in the Mailing section, I'm going to take a quick peek to see how everything looks. Just click on the button to preview results. And you can see in the document that the fields are all filled in with the information for the first recipient. You can click the Preview button again to switch back to the formatted fields. Finally, when you're ready to take the plunge, click on Finish and Merge, and you can choose to print your documents. Setting up your mailing list can take some effort, but once you have that information saved, you can create a mail merge letter in a matter of minutes, which will save you a lot of time in the long run.